Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you how to prepare for a road trip. In this video, I will be outlining some specific pieces of advice and steps that you can follow to prepare yourself, your car, and the people that you are traveling with for a road trip. So let's get right to it. Plan a road trip route. It's fun to get together in a group and say, road trip, and then just leave, get in, get in a car and just start driving. But that is not the best idea with regards to safety or many other things. So it is a really good idea to actually take some time with the people that you will be traveling with and plan a proper road trip route. Pack many snacks. When you are on your road trip, stopping at specific diners or specific restaurants to check them out is perfectly fine because that will be time that you will be spending exploring things. But if you are constantly stopping to get snacks, then in my opinion, that is just wasted time because when you are stopping to get common snacks, um, it, it is, you know, you are not exploring anything new. You are just stopping to, to satisfy your hunger and in addition to that the majority of snacks that are purchased on the road are not that healthy so just do yourself a favor and pack some healthy snacks check all of your fluids it is really important to check your engine oil level, your windshield washer fluid, your power steering fluid, and any other essential fluids that your car uses. If you run low on fluids and you are on the road, then it can actually have some pretty detrimental effects to your car and to the overall road trip. So you should definitely check your fluids before you leave. Check your tire inflation levels. Not only is driving with overinflated or underinflated tires unsafe, but it also really harms your gas mileage. And if you are driving on a road trip and you are driving a long distance, a small a small difference in gas mileage can actually make a big difference with regards to your fuel cost over the over the entire trip. So it is really it is really important to check your tire inflation levels for the sake of safety and cost. Bring a toolkit with some basic tools. Now, the reason that I say this is simply because it is a really good idea to have some basic tools in the trunk of your car, just in case anything happens. Tools, or I should say basic tools, can be really, really useful in many different situations. So it is really important to keep them on hand in your car. Bring an emergency car kit. Now this can be an emergency kit that you have purchased or it can even be an emergency roadside kit that you have created by yourself. But it should include some basics such as jumper cables, duct tape, uh, engine oil, zip ties, and anything of that sort. Anything that you think you may need in an emergency situation when you are on your road trip. Get a few different playlists ready on your music playing device. Road trips are really, really fun, but if you don't have the appropriate music, then it can definitely get a little bit boring when you are driving for hours on end. So prepare a few different playlists that, uh, that sort of, that deal with different genres of music. And you can choose your playlist depending on the time of day, how long you have been driving, and how you are feeling. You should also consider getting some audiobooks or podcasts onto your music playing device. These will sort of keep your mind busy in between listening to music because listening to music for hours on end, although it is fun, can be boring from time to time. Get a good night's sleep the night before you leave for the road trip.
It is important to be well rested when you are driving because that will ensure that you are driving in the most safe manner. So you should definitely try and get a full good night's sleep the night before you leave for the road trip. Bring cash. Now I know that in our current society almost every single place accepts debit or credit cards but you never know when you are going to need to purchase something and that place does not accept debit or credit cards or their debit and credit machines are down and are currently not working. So it is really important to bring cash. Bring a lot of water. Sitting in a car and driving for hours at a time can really, really allow you to be super thirsty. And it is really important to stay hydrated whether you are driving or simply in the passenger seats of the car. So you should definitely bring a lot of water. And I would say overpack with regards to water. If you think that you're gonna need one case of water, bring a case and a half or bring two cases of water. And that's basically it. In this video, I have told you how to prepare for a road trip. These pieces of advice will keep you safe and will also allow you to have fun. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.